Here's a video of my red lizard tank. It's kind of hard to see. There's a there's one there. The uh, I think the female is down below. I've got this acrylic uh, breeder trap here. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can. No, I can't do it. Uh, but that uh, piece of PVC that you can barely see there has a clutch of eggs in it uh, right now, that piece of PVC. And you know, I've got this Brilliant G with a uh, zip tie onto the side of the acrylic, which uh, overflows into the tank, hits the driftwood, and then it's flowing through the pipe. And then I cut a hole in that piece of acrylic and have a uh, filter strainer with uh, some nylon mesh wrapped around it uh, where it's flowing through so once those guys hatch they will be in there um, but I have one pair in that uh, five and a half gallon tank and then I just got uh, set this 10 gallon tank up and uh, bought three more pair uh, let's see if I take a flashlight there's, there's a female and uh, there's already a male back there in that uh, sorry Sorry for the water spots, male back in that PVC there. There's another male right there. Uh, I'm not sure where the others others are. There's a there's one right there hanging out in the Java fern. Uh, that's all I see there. But uh, just kind of excited about these guys. You know, have a nice nice red color. And uh, pretty excited to see if this. Uh, this will work in raising these guys. Uh, I had one batch and you know lost them. All. I think they just starved. Uh, you know this little uh, tube. It's probably well. There's my four fingers there. So you know was it four four inch acrylic tube. So they'll be a lot more combined or uh, confined in uh, in that little area with the driftwood. So we'll see how it goes.